Hi. Hi, my name is Avni. My name is Kushpa. And today, me and my buddy Kush welcome you to our exhibition presentation. About Progeria. So, first things first, now that you know me and my buddy Kush, I'm going to be telling you guys about our topic. So our topic is basically progeria, but my, my buddy Kush is going to be explaining why we chose the topic, as that is a very important key for you guys to know. So we chose progeria because this is a rare disease, and no one has looked into this issue. Plus, we thought it could be a good topic to make an impact on. So now my friend, Alfie, so basically this whole exhibition is a student-based exhibition and that's why we when i mean by student-based we have to make our own unit we have to do our work ourselves but usually our teachers make the unit but this time because it's student based we had to do everything for our exhibition and that includes making our own central idea and lines of inquiry depending on our um, topic so our topic is progeria so now our central idea and lines of inquiry so our central idea is people with progeria face lots of challenges in the society and our lines of inquiry are number one causes of progeria number two challenges faced by the people with progeria and number three our roles in supporting the people with progeria so those are our central idea and lines of inquiry. So now I'm going to be handing this over to my buddy Kush to tell us about what are guiding questions, if we don't know what are guiding questions, and some examples of the guiding questions that we had created. So I'm gonna, I will be only saying three examples of the guiding questions. So the first one is, what is progeria? How does progeria work? And how is progeria changing along with that? And if you don't know what guiding questions are, guiding questions are just um, questions that guide you um, for your for your topic. So now so, I'm, so I'm going to be giving of me. Um, she's going to be talking about um, the interview pics. Yeah. So. Basically, in this exhibition, we were supposed to have um, an interview with someone to know um, to know what they knew know about our topic, and that would also help us with with our sources and collecting information, new learnings from the person we're interviewing. So, examples like our other groups who are having exhibitions, they also had some. Um, people to interview with so actually this was kind of our challenge finding a person to interview as progeria is a very rare disease as Kush mentioned earlier and we couldn't find a progeria specialist in um, Dar, Dar Salaam so that's why we had to collaborate at this time very nicely and very um, properly that's why we finally managed to find a doctor in one of um, the clinics which is um london clinic in dar salaam so this is some of our um um interview pics with dr hamid kamis and here are two pictures of me and kush interviewing dr hamid kamis so this is not it we have some more evidences for our interview so one of our other interview was that he gave us a review document about progeria and this had some information that we had never found on the internet so this really helped us and also Dr. Hamid Kamis helped us being our source, and we found many informations in this small document. As well as that, we also had to note down our interview learning, and I'm going to be giving some examples of our interview learning. So we have our keywords, the diagnosis, even the doctor's perspective about progeria, and some other information about progeria. So that really helped us, and we were kind of really, really glad after our interview. So now Kush is going to be talking about an action plan and our action plan. But if you don't know what an action plan is, she's going to be explaining that as well. So our action plan is we're going to make a booklet with all the information about Prepare. It will spread awareness about the issue. And we will put the booklet in the library so students and teachers can read it, can read the booklet. So if you don't know what an action plan is, an action plan is a thing, an action plan is a plan that the right plan 
that it makes, for example, makes awareness, and that's a good thing. So that's an excellent. So I'm going to give, Agni is going to be speaking about the um, prints and posters. Okay. So after the prints and posters, I'm going to be doing something else as that's one of our important ideas. And even Kush is going to be there supporting me in our after our prints and posters. But right now, let's focus on our prints and posters. So now I know all of you guys are wondering what is progeria, all that. So now here are some diagrams or like let's just say some pictures that will help you guys to understand a little bit more about progeria and it would give you a hint. So first things first, we are going to be starting off with the main, which is talking about the, some of the people who have progeria and showing you the diagram. So this is a picture of Adalia Rose, and Adalia Rose is a, um, is a progeria patient, and she's a very young um, kid, and she is suffering with progeria, and, hope, and yes, she is still alive. And this is another picture of Nital Bitla. So Nital Bitla is from India and he was also suffering with progeria. So um, he's not with us anymore. He passed away um, last year. But So that's why we were just scrolling down the internet, finding some information until we found this poster about progeria that had a really strong motive. So we thought that we could print this one out as well because the all this like, strong motive just with our action plan that you're going to see later on um, in this presentation so this is another picture of the dna ladder of a normal person and a progeria person so now let me, let me tell you about this is the normal person's dna ladder and this is a muted dna ladder of a progeria patient it's cracked and it has like cracked stuff around it so that's what affects the body of progeria as well now um here are some of the symptoms that you guys are wondering so that's a progeria body and these are some of these symptoms and i'm going to be reading a few symptoms for you guys so the first symptom like some examples of symptoms so we have boldness swollen veins absence of eyebrows and eyelashes and in fact even a premature cardiac disease so that's basically something that happens inside your body so now I'm going to be sharing my screen and I'm going to be um, sharing about um, so something that, so I hope you guys can see the screen. Okay, so um, now I'm just going to be sharing this part of um, the screen, which um, is our progeria action kind of thing, which was our progeria information short book. So let's start. Progeria short book. This is by me and Kush. So now Kush is going to be reading this page. So what is the concept? What is progeria? Causes of, causes of symptoms. People who have progeria. Cure and treatments. Challenges they face. And our roles in supporting so this is another picture of Nital Bitla, as you can see, and down there is the source. So this is our contents page, just to add something to make it clear. So this one, I'm going to be talking about this. So you guys need to look out for the definition or the glossary, our sources, our pictures, and our justification slides. And don't forget, guys, at the end of our exhibition, you can give us our comments so that we know how we were doing in this exhibition. So now we're going to be giving some definitions. So Kush is going to be starting with the first definition and we're going to go chance by chance. So progeria, okay, what is progeria? Progeria is also known as postnatal Progeria syndrome. In the premature to early age that affects both gender and It is a very rare disease that only about so the second definition, I mean, the second definition of progeria is that it's a genetic disease caused at a young or early age. A protein called progerin causes them to age slash grow quickly. And progeria is not passed down by families. That means it's not inherited. And progeria people only live till 13 years, but some have lived till 20 years. So the other definition is going to be talking um, from Kush. So Kush, I'm going to hand it over to you. So progeria occurs when you are born, and as well as the 
life span is still 13 to 20, your life becomes way too short. As your our site said, in the world, there are around 80 cases. So till now we've been having some diagrams showing in our slides. So here's another diagram, you know, just something related to the, the DNA ladders. So now I'm going to be explaining the whole slide, which is causes of progeria. So number one, um, the gene known as lamin A, which is a gene, it gives changes in the it gives changes in the body that it makes protein necessary in the body. And the other one is a protein called progerin, causing it causes the patient to grow slash age quickly. And that's why the person looks old. So as you can see, guys, this is a normal gene, and that's a progeria gene, which is all scrumpled and it has like it's very different from the normal gene. So now Krish is going to be explaining some of some of our symptoms, not all of them, just some of our symptoms. So heart problem, stroke. People with progeria usually die because of heart strokes and attacks. Turn or wrinkled face. The face starts wrinkling when the age grows old. Baldness or hair loss, alopecia. That means alopecia. And the hair loss depends on the age of the progeria patient. So, to add a little bit more, I'm just going to say that these all are the symptoms that um, have been occurring in the people with progeria. So, when, like, let's say when we're talking about the hair loss depends on the age of the progeria patient is, that means that the progeria patient, when it's born, till that it won't be having hair. But then, usually when they grow up, they'll start growing hair a little bit. But then, day by day, it's going to come off slowly. So here are some of these symptoms that you guys can see, and there are many symptoms of progeria. So this is the next one um, that me and Kush both are going to be saying. So I'm going to be saying a few, and then Kush is going to be saying a few. So this is the people who have progeria. So we have Leon Botha, Haley O'Kines, Nathan Bennett, and the rest Kush is going to say. Adaya Rose, Sam Burns, and Benjamin Botha. So Kush, I'm going to be just asking you to explain the picture that you've been that we've been shown in this um, slide. So as you can see, this is a Dahlia Rose on the picture. So um, Adela Rose is the one who actually told us. I saw her on YouTube, and she um has um like she uh, made me um um she made us think of progeria. Um, that's why we use the jar because also um, I saw Dahlia Rose and I thought this is an interesting um, a disease. So I said, okay, um, I'm going to go ask my partner if she wants it. And the partner said, yes, so that's why we did the jar. And this is a Dahlia So this was... So this was the cause of, of our topic as well, why we chose the topic. So now me and Kush are going to be explaining, is there any cure for the disease? So many famous doctors were trying to find a cure for progeria, but as they research, there is no cure. But on the other hand, Kush is going to be explaining that. But on the other hand, uh, a drug called the Lodonarvian medication can extend the life of a progeria patient. So that is a, um, a medication or a drug that can extend the life of a progeria patient from 13 and onwards. So, um, the treatments and medications given to the patient. So the treatments, um, even though there is no cure for the, um, uh, even though there's no cure, the doctors give physical treatment to keep the patient moving to prevent stiff joints as that is also one of our symptoms. Because of some activities, football or basketball, it might harm or injure the patient. So this kind of reminds me of a movie called Pa. This is also a, a movie based on progeria. It was, that's the only movie based on progeria in this world, but it's basically um, something that he died because he was playing with, he was playing with some football and stuff like that. So progeria kind of, the doctors kind of prevent to doing some kind of sports like football or basketball. So now Chris is going to be explaining the medication. Medication is low dose aspirin, physical, therapy and nutrition dental care so those are some of the medications given 
So moving on to one of our um, lines of inquiry, which is our second lines of inquiry, the challenges faced by the people with progeria. So now, uh, since there are six, we're going, me and Krish are going to be doing three, three each. So the person with progeria does not get to know the disease as they are still small. So when the progeria, when the like, parents of the progeria patient know about the disease, it's going to be kind of hard to tell their kids about the progeria disease as knowing what they would feel. And the other one would be the, the patient with progeria can be abandoned from the society or the community. And that leads to the other one, which is what people think about the disease. So people might feel weird, they'd feel disguised, they'll feel disgust on how the person looks because of the symptoms and the way they look and stuff like that. So that is also one challenge they face. So Kush can explain the, the, the other three. The drills get up and the treatments cost a lot of money. So basically the treatments cost a lot of money and some don't have the money to pay their costs. Chest dispersion throughout the treatment and pain to suffer, which part of the symptom. So um, basically, they, um, and I've seen in a video that Adela Rose got a middle and she was crying so badly, I felt so sad for her. And they have a lot of pain and they get stressed about the area. And on the video, Adela Rose had a lot of pain and she got the middle. And then the, um, last one is getting to know their reactions like food, sports, um, or footwear. So, like, so just to add something, actually, it was the restrictions, not the reactions. Yeah, restrictions like food, sports, clothes, or footwear. And, like, um, they don't have to wear, like, some clothes are too hard for them for their skin. So they, um, the doctors um, tell them to wear, like, what clothes they should wear and what food they should eat and what. So the clothing leads to alopecia, which is kind of the skin disease, because some of the clothes are not suitable for the progeria patient. Sport, as I mentioned before, could be dangerous for them, because um, if they're boys who like sport, maybe they could have some restrictions of sport. Food, because um, some might some of the junk, like let's say junk food, can affect the body, because I said um, there's a cardiac disease, something like that. So they need to have certain food and even footwear because sometimes as they grow up their foot will kind of remain the same as a kid so their foot kind of maybe some of their favorite footwear would not fit them so anyway let's just move on to the next slide so now this is another of our um, lines of inquiry which is our role in supporting the patient so um i'm going to be speaking about this slide so well, some parents direct, directly tell the child about what the disease they have. And that's why, as Kush mentioned, they might get some stress, they would cry and stuff like that. So instead, maybe we could encourage them not to lose hope slash faith by speaking to the patient with lots of humility. Or we could make a fundraising community to donate money for the treatments as one of their challenge was the cost for the treatments and medications. So Kush can explain the bottom sentence down there. So some people are trying to the social network to help the patients and we could also make an impact. Okay, so um, so that was also some, because some people are already trying in social networks to help the patients. And so also we can make a community to help them and donate some charity to them for their treatments for the people who don't have enough money. So this is the glossary for if you don't know what they mean. So let's just start. So premature means occurring too early. Genetic means related to genes. Stature means natural um, height. And bulging means sweat. So the rest Kish can explain. The loan of parvian and the low does aspirin is a medication for progeria. In her hand, it is not mm -hmm. passed down by family. Progerin is a protein that makes you age grow quickly. Fundraising is a support for a charity of donation and humility is humble. 
So um, let's move on to the next slide. I hope you guys understood what these words mean. You can have a look at them, or maybe if you still don't understand, then that can be your homework to go and check out what these words are. And our uh, our source for this one was the dictionary, because also when we started, we were really confused with these words. But luckily, we got to know about our glossary and stuff like that. So these are all our sources. We have more sources. And thank you for listening to our small short book um, presentation. So now I'm going to be stop sharing. OK. So um, I hope you guys understood from that um, little slide. Of course, we had more evidence for our research. And yeah, so uh, without making things um, longer, we, let's just move on really quick. So now Kush is going to be explaining how the exhibition is going to help us get ready for grade six. So of course, we're doing this exhibition for a cause. That's why this will help us in our higher grades like grade 10, grade six, grade seven, or et cetera in secondary. So how the exhibition will help us in grade six? Well, this exhibition will help us in many things, like being organized, arrangements, and being comfortable. This will help us be required when we grow up. In fact, mm -hmm. this will teach us to be clear readers and followers. The division connects to young things along with this. This will help us and us to keep on our ACL skills and social skills and the self management skills and management skills. We will be reflecting on. Throughout the exhibition, this comes on the focus of the exhibition. So my friend Omni is going to be explaining about the uh, um, about the uh, formative evidence. Um, no, yeah, formative evidence and feedback. and the feedback. Yeah, yeah. So, um, of course, in this exhibition, we had a formative to test our knowledge so far about our topic. So this was um, kind of, remember we showed you earlier our short book? That was our formative. So basically, I'm going to be really quickly going through the tasks so that you know what we, we had to create our own task. We had to do our formative ourselves. So here's the task me and Kush collaborated and made it together. In the formative. Um, students will work in pairs to research and create a short book on causes and symptoms of progeria. They will also present the book to the class on the given due date. So, of course, before I start showing you the feedback, the goals and stuff like that, I just wanted to thank our mentor, which is Mr. Safe, as he helped us um, in our formative a little bit with our task and clarifying things. So, thank you, Mr. Safe. So, anyway, let's just continue with um, our <laughs> feedback. So this is a small um, our feedback that we stuck on this paper. And uh, so we got some feedback from some of our peers in class, like our peers from class. So here we just gave, um, stuck some examples of our feedback. So of course, um, we had some goals to improve some of the things that we went ups and downs. So here are some of the goals, which was our formative feedback. So for our formative goals, our formative went great, but we reflected on our feedback and made goals to help us with our final exhibition. So this is a small chart, which was for our goals that I made. And yeah, so some of our goals was um, to work on our presentation skills because we had to work on our eye contact, clear justifying and body language to double check our information for punctuations and proper MLA aid sourcing. Also for our goals, which is to keep some captions under our pictures to explain more. So I know right now we did add, after um, getting these goals, we worked on our book, the one that we showed you um, online, we worked, we put all these goals and we put our best work into it. And finally, that was our final booklet. And um, another thing was the organization skills because we had to balance between some words and text because before we had some less pictures and more words so we added more pictures sourced them added more sourcing proper mla 8 and that really helped us with our um presentation so now that we're done um so that you know about our formative evidence we're going to be moving on to um Kush is going to be explaining about our survey. 
I mean, um, we can't show this survey right now because this survey is very big and because it's since it's online. But for you guys to understand a little bit more, Chris is going to be explaining about our survey. So we want you to fill out the survey as it will help us to know what you learned in the Google, in the Google form. So now, so, so now my friend um, Abhi is going to be talking about the MLA courses. Okay, so of course, um, all this information that you guys were looking at was based on some inf the, based was on the research that we did, including some of the things that we got from our interview and from our mentor, our teachers. So these are all of our sources. There are four pages of sources that we printed out. So this was the first page, then we had some more sources. And if you don't know what sources are, then they're basically links of the information we find. We put lots of effort on sourcing one by one, individually finding our sources. So yes, we finally managed to finish our sources. So now that we're done with MLA 8 citations, you guys already saw our keywords and definitions in our short book. That's why right now we're going to be focusing, skipping those because you already saw those onto our goals and achievements, which will also be done by me. But Kush is going to be justifying them a little bit. So Kush, you can explain some of our, you can explain what the goals and achievements are. You mean the challenges? Yeah, basically that. Yeah. So our challenge is to do the interview. Remember our mentor video, finalize black and white things, Make thinking of active plans and models and to make models and dilemma. So this is one of our colorful work where we had to note down our challenges. So that's what I did here. Me and my buddy did actually here. Now I'm gonna be talking about the achievements. So of course, after doing our challenges we um, finally managed to achieve our goals and our challenges. So we finally had our interview. We started remembering our mentor meeting. So talking about that, we actually became so like confused that we forgot about our mentor meeting somehow. We missed a few meetings. So we had to um, reach out to our mentor and arrange our meetings again and change our schedule and stuff like that. So finally, we started remembering our mentor meeting. We finalized our prints and our action plans, which are over here, yeah. And we started working, um, and we started working on our time management. That means we started managing our time and finally came back to this. And we also made a survey, which was, because it took us around three days to figure out what our survey is going to be about. But finally, we did. So um, that was our goals and achievements. So now it's finally time we have come end to this exhibition. I really hope to learn something from our group. Really, really hope. So yes, um, you can comment and tell us if you guys have any stars, any wishes for us that we could improve. So now Chris is going to be <laughs> closing the topic. So I hope you enjoyed the exhibition and I thank you for watching the exhibition. I hope you learned something. So now we can stop recording our exhibition. exhibition. So bye. Bye.